essential story. This is about Santa. I wrote this. What happened was Mrs. Claus got together with me and said, hey, you know, everybody knows about Rudolph, but, but nobody knows about you as a child or, or, or how you made Santa's village. So what we've done is we compiled it all together here. So this is Santa as a little boy. First time we're going to share this. Are okay, you ready? Okay. Santa as a little boy. There are days when I am sitting quietly alone by the fireside. I often think what, what people really think of me. Uh, how, I, how, how I want all of you to, to look at me and, and think to yourself, do, do you like me? Uh, do I look jolly? <laughs> well, I, I hope the answer to those questions is yes. During these quiet moments, I also get very nostalgic. And, and I remember a long time ago, a long time ago, as a little boy, uh, I was not jolly at all. No, no. In fact, I was so unhappy uh, because, well, as hard as I tried, I never was the top of the class. I, I never picked up uh, um, for the football team, and I, I couldn't even run it as fast as the other boys and girls. But one day, feeling very unhappy and sorry for myself, I decided to take a walk on my own to the Enchanted Forest. <laughs> I love the Enchanted Forest. <clears throat> Feeling very so, uh, so miserable, I, I, I walked uh, with my head held down, hands in my pockets, and, and stubbing my toes against the ground, when suddenly I saw a beautiful robin. Yes, it, it was on the ground, and it had, it had a broken wing. And it, I went over to the, to the robin, and I saw oh, you poor thing. Um, how did, what happened to you, little Robin? Tell me. Well, where do you live? So I, so I, can, I can take you home. So you'll be okay. I live in a castle at the end of the rainbow. Well, just then, a beautiful rainbow appeared. Appeared in the sky. A perfect arch made all the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Oh, those are the seven colors of the rainbow. <laughs> so perhaps this is a good thing. I, I thought to myself as, as an unhappy lonely boy who was never good at anything, but, but even, even, even then I, I always wanted it to be kind and helpful. So with a with little red robin, rest cradled safely in my hands, I started to follow the rainbow. Uh, for miles I walked, uphill and downhill, across rivers and, and through valleys until daylight passed, and, and the sky started to turn dark. <laughs> turned to turn dark, and, 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 and suddenly, in the distance, there was a beautiful, a beautiful magical castle, perched high on a hill, surrounded by Christmas trees, whose, whose twinkling lights seemed to dance in the, in the moonlight. <laughs> At last, I had found the end of the rainbow. I walked up the hill and wondered, and the beauty of the shadow sight before me, uh, hardly believing my eyes. And then um, uh, the castle was just, just beautiful. The, the doors to the castle opened wide as if by magic. The little robin flew out of my hands, no longer a broken wing, and he perched on a branch at the tree, standing next to, to, to me by the tree. There's a figure of an old man. As I looked closer, I realized it was Father Time. Well, welcome, little Santa, he said with a kind but firm voice. Uh, we've been waiting for your arrival for thousands of years. And tonight, you have proved to us. With your kindness, you are the spirit of Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. But, but I'm just a sad little lonely boy who's not good at anything, I exclaimed, for lonely and this is nonsense, he replied. What is more important is that you are good at being good. You are a kind, thoughtful little boy. And from this day forward, you will be known as Santa Claus, the spirit of Christmas. And everything and everyone will love you and believe in you. For the first time in my life, I felt good and happy. And I really didn't matter anymore that, that I wasn't the fastest or the cleverest. What really mattered was that I would always do my best 
to be helpful to others. Although this happened many, many years ago, whenever I feel sad, or, or that things perhaps I'm, I'm not good, or, or something of that nature, I, I remember the kind words of Father Time when he told me, you only have to be good at being good. And I realized I am good at what I do best. I, I, I was reminded of this yesterday when someone shouted out to me, Hey, Shannon, you're the greatest sign of play! <laughs> to which I replied, that it, there's a sanity in all of us. We all have to do, all we have to do is to find that within our hearts. Merry Christmas, everybody.